So on the right hand side we have our C change video which sounds like this. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing for the New Era, Episode 20, Sea Change, Earth and Sky. In today's episode, we re-entered by reflecting that compositions in four parts are becoming a thing in this series. Case in point, which you just are seeing on the right-hand side, has four separate music lines. It has the drone, the shimmer, the backbone, and the ornament. And what we did to make this happen is we took some video footage of rippling water and then overlaid it. We can even show you that. There's, there's two videos here, there's a video there, and they kind of just crisscross each other. So if we skip over here, here so you can see we have different videos actually three and then we're layering the sound in four uh, staggered layers down here the original composition had all four of these layers playing simultaneously so we did that, we called it Sea Change, and we rendered it, and we liked it. it. came out pretty good. So that was our first example of doing something in um, four parts. Now, the second example is that we had previously worked with this thing called Metaverse 3, which only had one line that went like this. The trouble is when we break free. And then we had turned it into a Vocaloid sound in our Ableton. So we went back and we figured out, does that scale, those notes that we picked out, we kind of just said, okay, we're going to pick custom scale 12 and um, custom scale 11 and custom scale 2 and smush them together, can they be turned into a new custom scale? And sure enough, they can. It's custom scale 12, and we figured out the the mode, the minor major modes, and what the neutral is F, and all that. So we went back to our musical composition, and we added um, a dyad. We added the top and bottom. We added harmony, is what we did. And we uh, figured out how to make it sound good. So this is what we got. And we also figured out in the dramatic part where to leave the ground. So that all worked out. And now we exported them into four separate MIDI files. And now it sounds like this with the Vocaloid sound effect. So that was kind of cool. And uh, remember in the last episode, we actually put lyrics on there so that uh, it actually was saying lyrics, but we didn't do that. We didn't bother putting that in here right now. So by the way, that looks, that's Miss Orc, M Orc. So then we did another experiment here. Sh 
sure. And with this experiment, what we did was we 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 liked how that thing sounds. We like how it sounds. We're just pressing our letters on our keyboard, ASDF. Uh, so what we did is we did a live take, one key take up here, which sounded like this. And then we did a second, well, actually, we just staggered it over. It says shift overlay. And then we sang to it. And then we edited our, that was a voice take. And we edited it and cl clipped out just some solid notes. And here's what we've got. So we're going to play this whole thing for you to bring us home. This is Vocaloid plus live voice take. <laughs> And it's pretty much guaranteed to be in uh, diatonic C major because that's all we did. All we did was was press the uh, the like that, and then we sang to it. So that concludes today's episode. Our ideas for next time are to uh, post and share the sea change vid, keep experimenting with recording our voice with accompaniment. We like doing that. And we have this new thing we're working on, earth and sky composition in four parts. So we, we basically have a design. This is, a, this is based on our metaverse work. So we want to come up with a musical compliment supplement compliment really that goes with it somehow shout outs to steady worker who kept us going silent lurker who fed us energy in the background and miss orc our brand new follower who gives us that cute orky sound tune in next time to see what happens do take care do come back and do keep on streaming <laughs>